The sage grouse, a native bird of northeastern Nevada and parts of the western United States, is being used as the latest pawn in the arsenal of the federal government and as a weapon they intend to use to remove the rights of citizens to their use of the wilderness, the ranch lands, and private property across the nation. In keeping with the aims of Agenda 21, a United Nations plan which promotes a union of extreme environmentalism and socialist theory, all in the name of sustainability, the United States government is proposing to list the sage grouse as an endangered species, a move that would affect ranchers who produce some of the most wholesome food in America in the fertile soil of the Mountain West. And that's what they want, this public land closed off. And when this happens, uh, you're gonna see mining, ranching, farming, wind generation, uh, power uh, lines. It goes on and on and on, the damage they'll do to this country. They come out publicly and announce they weren't gonna quit until all public lands were closed off. Any place there's a sage hen that's out there, they could go in and close these areas off. They can go in and say, until these, these eggs are hatched, there'll be no mining, no people on these roads. Uh, it's devastating. It's, it's going to impact farming and ranching everywhere that there is farming and ranching in uh, uh, sagebrush habitat. And of course, they're they are sagebrush obligate. That means they're dependent upon sagebrush, sagebrush to, to survive. But that will, uh, it will affect them because if uh, there's sagebrush in the area, um, uh, they'll probably have to meet federal guidelines. A lot of areas uh uh, that are threatened, for example, the western part of the state and whatnot, it might be a good idea to li list them there, but a blanket listing is very controversial. I would suspect that there are going to be a lot of road closures. I think there's going to be a lot of impacts on all kinds of recreational uses. The negative outcomes are already being implemented, even though the bird hasn't been listed. The BLM has already instituted some instruction memorandums that put in place restrictions on grazing use based on the purported needs for sage grouse. If the bird is listed, those restrictions will be required across 11 different states on nearly 100 million acres of current sage grouse habitat. They're talking about putting the grazing restrictions on about 50 million of those acres. The growing of grains, vegetables, and livestock, and even possible oil and gas leases, all could be prevented on millions of acres of land across the West if the sage grouse is listed as part of the Endangered Species Act. Now the soils here in Elko County are among some of the most nutrient dense in the entire country. And if the sage grouse is listed, it'll affect not only ranches here in Elko County, but across the nation. Taking away the ability of farmers and ranchers to grow food and raise livestock is a weapon in the hands of the federal government, not only to starve American citizens as their plans for world domination ramp up, but will also allow for market domination by corporate GMO peddling food conglomerates like Walmart and other retail outlets. This bird has not even been listed yet, and they're already pulling permits uh, on wind generation projects. So you're just seeing the start of this thing. Reporting for InfoWars Nightly News from Elko, Nevada, I'm Greg Knight.